Hello everyone, welcome back. I have like about an hour, a little over an hour to get ready. I do have an appointment to take my puppy to the doctors. I've been wanting to try the LYS brand for a while now. So I do have a nice goodie box here from Sephora. So I'm super excited. The only thing I have in my collection from LYS, which if I'm not mistaken, I think LYS stands for love yourself, I think but they just have it as LYS Beauty. The only thing I have in my collection right now are their powdered bronzers. Um, I end up buying um, No Limits Matte Bronzer Motivate, which is the light shade. So that's what this one looks like. And I have used this already on my channel. I really do like it. Um, and then they sent me in one of my BoxyCharm boxes the No Limits Matte Bronzer Harmony, which is in the medium shade so you can see it's just a little bit darker but if you like compare them they look kind of similar but you can kind of see the difference i did not get a primer so i'm gonna go ahead and use another primer to prime i'm first gonna just kind of clip my hair back so i'm gonna use the vanish airbrush primer from hourglass so it's kind of pumped out a Pump. I'm just going to put this where our pores are and then kind of just fan it out. My daughter is home from daycare today just because it's her normal day to be home because I'm off. So you know the drill. If you hear it in the background, just, you know, take it in. <laughs> Bear with me. She's part of my life. And this is what it is. Okay. So, so far I'm just kind of evaluating my skin before I put on the foundation. Um, so the, the primer here kind of just smooths you out. It doesn't like completely mattify you. Um, it's not a dewy primer. And even though like on camera my skin might look a little extra glowy because of the sunlight hitting me, um, in person I want to say my skin kind of just looks like normal skin doesn't look dry it doesn't look dewy doesn't feel dewy doesn't look greasy or anything so that's what we're starting off with we're gonna be jumping into the foundation so this is their triple fix serum foundation with ha and turmeric and ash ashwagandha um it is vegan cruelty free gluten free which is amazing. I got mine in a shade MG5. I did order this all online, so you know how it is. Or like trying to like look at pictures and try to choose your shade. So I don't know if this is going to be a good match or not. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. All right. So the packaging is super super cute. And by the way, guys, I know I'm late on this. I know LYS now kind of been out for a while now, but. I just still hear so many people talking about it and I'm just like, I need to, I need to try it. I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any new makeup, but I feel like it's a nice brand to invest in. It's just my opinion. It's, I love the pink, like I love the, it just looks so like cute and luxe. So, all right, so we're just gonna, it feels pretty like, watery and um like serum-y like you can i feel like you can almost feel like the serum texture in it so is this shade gonna work for me i don't know i'm gonna open up one of my bronzers just so that way i have a mirror to look into and because this is a lighter foundation like a lighter weight foundation I'm just gonna use a brush just so we can get the most coverage so looking at this I want to say it's just a shade I feel like it's like one shade too dark but I think in like for the summertime I think it would work but I think for the winter time I probably would need to go down a shade or two but I feel like the undertone is matching perfectly so it looks beautiful on the skin um is this supposed to be a full cover like what kind of coverage are we supposed to be getting here all right so it is light to medium coverage which i can 100 percent 
see that it feels at the moment it just feels slightly I want to say slightly wet and I, I can feel it I can feel it that it's there but I'm sure after, as it dries down or as I'm continuing to do my makeup it will that feeling will go away um, my skin does look pretty good like my skin looks like skin it doesn't look cakey it just looks like it has some coverage it definitely has more coverage than what I would get from like a tinted moisturizer because I hate when foundations give me like almost no coverage I'm like I can just use a tinted moisturizer um, and I can I can probably build this up but I kind of want to leave it because I do like the light coverage that we have right now um, and today I didn't want it super hot, so I don't want to build this, but it looks beautiful. And we do have a concealer to test out. So if I do feel like I need more coverage in certain places, I will go ahead and spot conceal. All right, so I just realized that I got exactly, I think, the same shade of concealer that I did for the foundation, which I guess it's not, like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't always like to have a super bright under eye, but it's probably going to be very similar to the tone. Um, but this is MG5 in the concealer as well, unless they automatically make each shade slightly lighter, just so that we can get a little bit of a brightening effect. But this is what the concealer looks like. Um, it's like everything is like triangle shape, which I do love. Um, and yeah, so this is the triple fix. Hold on. This is the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer, again, with hyaluronic acid, turmeric, and ashwagandha. Yeah, this concealer is um, a little bit too dark. A little bit too dark. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's fine. We're going to make it work. So, oh, well, actually, I don't want, I don't want to say it's too dark, but I mean, it's not going to be brightening, you know? Alright, so I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. Wow. Okay. So there's one eye with it. You can see there's a little bit of coverage. This is obviously because it's so lightweight. This is not going to be like your most fullest coverage kind of sealer um i think let me see this is a oh okay so they are claiming that this is supposed to be a i'm not getting full coverage like this feels so thin and light and even blending it in it's not giving me full coverage i would say it's giving me like light and if i can build it up probably light to medium whether highlighting your favorite features or concealing pesky blemishes this full coverage breathable formula instantly brings balance to the complexion for a natural seamless look that works so i'm not getting full coverage but let's kind of build this up and then i'm going to put a little on my eyelids just to conceal it's not the easiest applicator to put back in you kind of have to give it a little push I must say though that even though like putting on a second layer it is not looking cakey at all it's looking very hydrating and just very good okay so that I think you can see the difference like you can see all this redness and here it's just like very so am I am I getting full coverage no but you can build it up to a nice medium I want to say this is good for me anyways for most days um but if you're looking for like an actual full coverage concealer, I really am not, I don't think that this is a full coverage concealer. All right, so I know I can tell that with this formula, it's probably gonna crease on me, but I'm not gonna quite set anything yet just because I do wanna apply all my creams first before we move on to powder. So for creams, I am super excited that I got my hands on the cream bronzer stick when they like, promoted that they were launching this I was just like if I get anything from this line I have to get their cream bronzer stick I'm just so in love with cream bronzer and cream blush so 
This is the packaging. It's the No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. Achieve that vibrant sun kissed glow year round with this creamy bronzer stick that instantly brings depth and dimension to the face. This is an easy to blend lightweight formula glides onto the skin to create a diffused natural looking shadow effect that brings your favorite features to the forefront. Formulated with soothing skincare ingredients, this multitasking bronzer radiates the complexion leaving behind a healthy looking glow. So it is going to most likely be like a glowy bronzer, not like a shimmery, but you know what I mean? Like it's going to make your skin look glowy. It's not going to be like a matte bronzer. So I did get mine in the shade. I did get mine in the shade Motivate Light. They go by the same shade names as their powder bronzers. So again, this bronzer here is in the shade Motivate Light, which is kind of why I went with the cream bronzer. And it kind of looks actually very similar but are you good but i don't know in the way in a way it's kind of looking a little bit too light because of, of it being a cream i'm wondering if it's going to be too light so um maybe i'm going to break it but i'm going to roll it up just to see how much product we get in here okay so this is exactly how much product you can see we're at the bottom this is exactly how much product we get so that's quite a lot it's not like you know this much so I'm gonna roll it back down so we don't break it. Probably do one more roll down. All right, so I'm just gonna go directly. Yeah, oop, oop, that's a lot. Um, I'm just gonna do, wow, this like melts down. Um, This is so creamy, guys. Like, it just glides. But I do feel like in the winter, it's probably gonna be great, but I think in the summer, it might be just a little bit too light for me. Apparently, I'm not great at choosing my shades online. So I'm just gonna use my same brush. It's still, it's not, like I used it for the foundation, but it's not like gunkied up yet. So I'm gonna use that same brush just to blend in that bronzer and it kind of just has that same like serum look and feel to it like just very hydrating i think if you have severely dry skin you are gonna absolutely love but yeah you're gonna absolutely love all these products i do think though that if you're like if you're even like normal skin you're probably gonna want to set a little bit especially when it's hot and sweaty outside um, but if you have like severely oily skin, um, I mean, I think, you know, if you set your face really good, you're probably going to be able to use it, but I don't know how long wearing it's going to be, but I mean, it melts literally into the skin like a dream, but you can see how dewy that is. Like that's very, very dewy. I do like it though. I think I'm gonna enjoy it even more in the winter because one, it's going to be a little bit better match for my skin tone. And also in the winter, I am a little bit more dry because it's winter and who's not dry in the winter. Um, so yeah, so just something to keep in mind. We do have three more products to use before we finish off this makeup look. So next we're gonna move on to blush. So this is the Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. Um, and I'm surprised this is not like dewy and you know what I mean? Like glowy as well. So I did get mine in the shade Humble. And I actually like the packaging on the blush is slightly different. If you can see. And maybe because it's like a matte. So that's why. I don't know. I don't know. But it's slightly different. But it's still like your typical triangle. And ooh, I love this color. So perfect for spring and summer. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna actually take my sponge, maybe let's see if this works, and I'm just going to dab into it. Let me see if we can get any pigment that way. And I'm gonna kind of pack it on. because we're gonna put some powder on top and that's gonna kind of mute it a little bit. Even though the powder is translucent, it's still gonna mute it because 
you know, the powder just adds like a layer on top. So we're gonna look like a clown for a little bit, but I promise it will all come together. Even though the, cre the cream blush is gonna be setting down matte, it's still, of course, looking a bit dewy because of all the other products we have on the skin. It's not patchy or anything. It looks really, really well. Um, and the pigment is there. All right, so next we finally get to set this face, which, don't get me wrong, I like looking glowy, I like looking healthy and dewy, but this is just a little too much, just just a little too much. So, I'm excited to set. <laughs> but what is nice about having your face look like this before setting is that you're not gonna look super dry and cracked and cakey because everything is so hydrating. So the, the powder's gonna tone down the shine, but it's not gonna just add on dryness, you know? So to set, I am gonna go into this powder that everyone just seems to be talking about. Um, Juicy Jazz here on YouTube talks about it a lot as well, and I think she's the one that kind of sold me on it. So this is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder, and this one is in the shade Resilience, which is the translucent one. It's so hot in here too. I'm not sweating a lot, so I don't think that's adding too much to the glow, but I can feel like it's starting to get hot in here because I had to turn off the air conditioner. So this has that same packaging, that mirror packaging where I feel like, you know, you're gonna get fingerprints all over it. All right, so this is what the powder looks like. This is again in the translucent one. I'm actually gonna take the other end of this clean sponge for my under eyes and all right i do like how the under eye is looking it's looking smooth it's looking good all right so now i'm just going to put some on my powder brush and we're just going to see what happens here do you see the difference between this side and this side so let's see if we can so here's all the do okay so i can see what they mean by like it sets your makeup but it doesn't make you look super matte and like it still lets your skin look like skin which is nice so I'm just gonna set, of course, all over. Kind of just looking at the difference here. Everything looks really good. Like you can see how my skin still looks like that natural glow that I like, but it doesn't look super wet and like greasy. It looks really nice. So I'm really liking that powder. It doesn't make my skin feel super dry. The only thing left to put on from LYS is their highlighter. So this is the LYS Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder. Powder. I did get mine in the shade Brave, which is their like champagne. And this is the highlighter. This looks like it's gonna be blinding. Like I can just see. I wonder, it looks kind of glittery, like when I'm going like, when I do like this, it just kind of like sparkles. Like, <sighs> I'm a little nervous because I don't like my highlighters to, I like them to look like wet and from within. I don't like the chunky glitter. You know what I mean? Where this is kind of giving me chunky glitter, like maybe. It's that like overspray. I mean, you can still see very fine glitter, but it's not like chunky, I don't know how to explain, like loose glitter pigments in it. I do have to set my face. I don't have a setting spray right in front of me, so I do need to still do that. But overall, I really do like how my skin looks. And I do think that, yeah, the foundation is just slightly a little bit too dark, but I will make it work. I will probably go ahead and buy the foundation and the concealer in a lighter shade. Not that I need the same foundations, but it's a really nice foundation and I can see myself reaching for it a lot. So I probably will end up, I'll wait. I'm not gonna buy it right away because it's still summer. I'll probably wait until maybe the beginning of next year to purchase uh, lighter shades in that. Maybe I'll finish a foundation or two by then. I don't think I will, but we'll see. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup should i just stay i feel like i just moved i feel like this video is already so long so i don't know if i'm gonna like 
completely finished the rest of my makeup on camera. I will show you though what I'm using. I'm gonna use the Oma Beauty. Um, this is the Sharon C one and done two in one brow styler. This is the one that can be found at Walmart. Mine is in the shade 07. I'm just gonna do my brows really quick and then maybe we'll do eyeshadow on camera. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so brows are on. Um, next, I'm gonna just quickly do some eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna jump in to the Laura Lee. Um, this is the Nudie Number no. Two palette. So I think I'm gonna jump into the shade Patootie. Put that in the crease, and then I'm gonna just jump into Lush with this this beautiful like gold shade right here. Ooh. Nice pop of gold. I'm gonna jump into Low Cut, which is the shade right here. And we're just gonna put that under the eye. These light browns and gold kind of go with the outfit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, whoops, that's not the highlight. I'm just gonna put some of the highlight in the inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna quickly put on some mascara. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara, and then I'm also gonna do my lips. This is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade 02, Nothing But Nude, and then I'm gonna to top that off with, um, this is from L'Oreal. This is like their lip gloss balms. Um, it's in like this type of packaging. This one's in the shade 40 Blissful Blush, and I'll be right back. All right, we are done with our makeup, thank goodness. All right, well, that is everything, guys. Oh, very quickly, my opinion. I will show you in natural light, as always, what my makeup looks like. I am filming in natural light, but there is a combination of regular lights and natural lighting, so I will, I will you will see in just straight up natural light what my makeup is looking like. All right, guys, so this is what my skin is looking like in natural daylight. I wish I could film in front of this window, but I don't know. Maybe I can try to make it work, but... I really like this natural lighting, like straight up natural lighting. It just looks so beautiful. I know there's gonna be days where it's gonna look crappy out, but yeah, I really love how my skin looks. But just a very quick rundown of everything. So far, I do like the foundation. Um, I can kind of try to remember to update the description box with a update of how my makeup wore, but I do like how my skin looks with the foundation. Um, it just kind of looks like skin. It looks very nice. Um, so yes, I really do like it. The concealer I like as well. I would not say it's a full coverage concealer. I think that's pushing the limits a little bit too much, but I, it, it is a nice light to medium coverage concealer. I prefer a lighter coverage concealer anyways. I'm not always looking for super full coverage, even though I do sometimes have pretty dark circles to cover. Um, most of the time full coverage concealers just look a little bit too much on my under eye area um, i am approaching 30 so you know got to keep it light and simple uh but yeah so i do like the concealer as well i really don't think there's anything i didn't like i like the bronzer the bronzer stick is very very creamy it does leave your skin very glowy um so again if you're super dry and you just want something looking natural and glowy you might like this on its own you might want to set it with like a powder bronzer or a setting powder but I wanna say the only thing that didn't really wow me as of right now is the highlighter. I know it is a very blinding highlighter, I can definitely tell. Um, I mean, I think I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. I just don't like how you have that natural glow, but then you have like these particles of glitter sitting on top. So I'm hoping that the more I use it, the more it's just an overspray and the actual highlighter is like just, you know, glowy from within type of highlighter. I don't mind it being an intense highlighter. I just don't like that glitter loose glitter look you know what I mean so it's the only thing that I as of right now I would say pass on in my opinion but I do like the blush as well I do like the color the color is very vibrant it's very pigmented I did set it it's a powder finish on its own plus I did set it with some translucent powder and the pigment is still there so 
I really do like the cream blush as well. I do like the powder so far as well. I'm gonna continue to play with this and use this, um, but it is kind of looking like maybe my next favorite powder for my under eyes. I've been having a couple that I've been really liking lately, so definitely excited to add this into my collection. But yeah, that is everything, guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking it through with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Until next time, bye guys.